Tired of sitting around waiting for hours on end for a video to render? Well, most video editing software has settings to help you render videos faster. You just need to know where to look. So I'm going to share them with you now. These, my friends, are the fast video render settings everyone should know for PowerDirector. You want to start off by going to Preferences. And here you want to select Hardware Acceleration. You want to check this box that says Enable Hardware Decoding. Now, this option primarily uses the GPU on your graphics card to render videos and uses less CPU. There's a pop-up message that tells you you need to make sure that you, your drivers are up to date, so make sure you do that. Click on OK. And the next option down here is AI Feature Processing. So if you hover over this info button, it tells you that for better performance, choose Program Auto Decides. And if you want to save power, then choose NPU if you can. So we're going to select Program Auto Decides so that we get higher performance. Next, you want to go to the Export tab. You want to check the box that says Reduce Video Blocky Artifacts. Now, this reduces um, pixelation. So when you're done making your video, it's less pixelated. And then you have an option to reduce video noise when using MPEG-2 and H.264. So you want to click that as well. And that will reduce the amount of noise or static that you see in your videos. And those are the settings that you want to do in your preferences. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please like this video subscribe to Power Director University, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials. Now we're going to click on Export. The first thing we want to do here is go to Advanced. And if we're video encoding, we want to make sure that hardware encoding is selected if you have a graphics card. Now, there is a drop-down menu here. And if you click on this and you have graphics cards that are capable of fast video rendering, they're going to show here and you can select your graphics card. If you have more than one, it'll show more than one. If you only have one, it'll have one. So we'll click on OK. Every file format that you select cannot use fast video rendering and you can't use the hardware encoder. So for example, if we were to change this format, from MP4 to WMV. And then we clicked on Advanced. We'll see that we cannot select hardware encoding because WMV on an NVIDIA graphics card does not support hardware encoding. If you have an NVIDIA card, these are the file formats that can use hardware encoding. If you have an AMD graphics card, these are the file formats that can use hardware encoding. And if you have an Intel graphics card, these are the file formats that can use hardware encoding. Now don't fret. You can still speed up your rendering using SVRT. SVRT or Smart Video Rendering Technology speeds up the render process by only rendering files that require it and it selects the best file format for you as well. So here you see that software encoding is selected because for this file we can't do hardware encoding. So we're going to click on apply SVRT when available. And now we're going to click on OK. Now notice the file format right now is WMV. Okay. It also says the resolution is 1920 by 1080. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on profile analyzer and let power director select the best format resolution and all that jazz for this video. Now you see under best match, it says you need to be using MP4 and your resolution should be 3840 by 2160 and you should do it at 24 frames per second. Bit rate should be around 7,000. Now, if we click on intelligent SVRT, it also tells us the same information here. So SVRT is saying, hey, your files are already MP4, so we're not going to have to render them all. We should be able to do this faster. And guess what? Instead of downscaling it to 1920 by 1080, 
leave it at the native resolution that you recorded it at, which is 3840 by 2160, and it will take less work to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and click on OK. And it's gonna ask you to create the profile name. I'm just gonna put test. And we'll click on OK. Now, look what happened. It changed the file format to MP4, the codec to H.264. It changed my resolution to 3840 by 2160. It changed my frame rate, changed my bit rate, all that stuff that we were just talking about. It updated it and changed it for us so that it can render the video faster. Now, after you're done with your render settings, it won't take as long to render complex effects like these. Don't forget to subscribe for more Power Director University love. See you next time.